Good morning, everyone. That is Boiler Bay. I think, I think that's where it is. Just north of Newport. There's a little state park. It's more like a drive out. You can come in and hang out for a minute and check out whales and stuff. I saw a whale swimming around this morning. Let's get a little bit right here. Saw some whales swimming around this morning, which is kind of what I came up here for. I wanted to have a couple days of detox before I go back and deal with people and their energies. But I came up here yesterday and spent all day just watching. And I got so lucky, I would just look over and then the whale would breathe. Because you could look out there, you could stare out there for hours and nothing. I saw four different whales. I was like, yes. So, not bragging, but that's cool. And there's the seal. What's up, babe? I'm just saying. You go through, you go through the dark night, and man, God and the universe, they do bless you. They'll give you some stuff. Maybe not a lot. Right now, I'm just got, I'm just got enough to keep running. I'm blessed. And, Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna hit Newport and be all bright eyed and bushy tailed, might even shave today. So, yeah, I'm excited. <sighs> you, know, you know, I was gonna talk about some stuff about this. I guess I forgot. I'm old. I know it's terrible, and then I'm like, I'm gonna do a video. That's that's the fun part about winging it. This is usually what I, every every video I've done, I just jumped on and did it, and didn't think twice about it. Yeah, you hear that? There's some music. Last night in the middle of the night, some guy comes to this place and just starts blaring really loud like techno music and stuff, just in the middle of the night. And I thought, oh, okay, you know, a couple. Just some people are like that. I've seen them before. Just enjoying their bumping music, right? And then this guy comes up here behind me, by me, sorry, and then comes over, parks over here, and then opens his door, and opens up the back of his truck, and just sits there and is blaring it. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, you're psycho. So, I don't know what this dude was dealing with, but he was purposely, yeah, he was doing it on purpose. It wasn't just, he was sitting in his car, hanging out, scrolling, whatever, listening to music. He was, he was doing this to annoy people. And I didn't understand it. And I was just like, so, so I picked up all my stuff and I, I jumped in my vehicle and I turned on Dharma and I drove by him because I was going to turn around and just go down to the parking lot at the bottom so I wouldn't hear it. And I was so pissed because I was half asleep. And I drove by him and while well, he was just bumping, right? I was just, I can't even imagine the look I gave him. I was just half asleep. I, I was pissed. So yeah, and then I came around and parked and, and he, he stopped. He turned off his music. I don't know if he was just saw the look on my face and realized that he's pissing people off. And, you know, somebody's gonna, you know, he's lucky I'm a nice person. I've seen some really people that were just egging the fight. I mean, that's maybe that's what he's doing. He's trying to look, I don't know, people are weird. That's why when I tell people to protect your energy, there's people out there that are just so toxic right now that they're just ready to blow up and hurt people. And it's just sad. And I've seen it. And I've talked to people that were just, I was like, oh my God, you're just. Ticking time bomb because they're just they're out there. You gotta protect your energy, people. Just protect your energy and love yourselves. And whatever I was gonna talk about, I mean, you gotta live in the light. You gotta live in positivity, regardless of your circumstance. That's the test in itself. Is to ha you, do you have grace under pressure? Perfect grace under pressure. Do you have grace under pressure? A lot of people snap and they break or they hold bitter, they're bitter and they hold grudges against other people, people that love them. I, uh, you know my, I don't know, my past videos, you've heard my story, I'm an idiot. I fell in love with the wrong person, or maybe the right person at the wrong time, but it grew bitter and resentful. Not on my part. I just I was angry and upset, but at the same time, I you know, love is love, right? You still love them. I still care about them. But, but I don't think they feel that way about me. But that's all right. I you know 
I said what I said. I didn't. I, I didn't mean to blow up on him like that. Just get all mad and yell at him. But things need to be said, and man, it was bottled up for what eight years. That's what happens when you don't have a contact. You don't talk to people. You don't communicate. Yeah, it's all about assumptions, and it gets terrible. Don't assume. Feel free to call the person that you care about. And, I, I was going to be a communication specialist, but yeah, and I took a bunch of classes in college for that. It's part of the journalism, you know, being able to be a broadcaster, all that crap. Be able to speak properly in public. And yet, you know, even I get stunted in communication sometimes. Free will. People, if you can't communicate with somebody and they don't want to communicate with you, you're shit out of luck. Unless you're a stalker or something. You just need to get over that shit. Yeah. Learn to love and let go. That's another great one. Love and let go. And try not to listen to music too loud in the middle of the night. Piss people off. That's just, come on. I don't know what that dude's problem was. But I was, I don't know. I just wasn't going to pick a fight with somebody. I was just tired. And they were being rude. I mean, here's the thing, if you're gonna blast your music in the middle of the night, David Bowie, please, some Prince, for the love of God, God Marvin Gaye, even some Miles Davis, Jesus. Earth, Wind, and Fire. If this dude would have been blaring some shit that I actually, it was just some weird fucking techno, boom, boom, boom. it was just really weird. Which some people dig, but yeah, throw on some, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and you, come on now. Jimi Hendrix, something. But this crap that he was playing, it was like, uh, and they play, the, that's what I'm saying. I've had people pull up next to me before and just thump their music while I'm sleeping. They know people are fucking asleep. I'm just like, oh my God, you're horrible. And it's never good music. <laughs> it's never shit that you'd be like, oh, I fucking love that jam. Right? And you're ready to get out and uh, uh, dance around and shit and be like, yes. When I'm playing music and people walk by, they're like, oh. they're just like, oh. Oh, I haven't heard that forever. You know, that's what you want people. If you're gonna if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna be driving around in the middle of the night, blaring your music, pissing people off, at least play the classics, babe. Work with me. Please. Jimi Hendrix would be amazing. I'm just saying you still be careful, be mindful, be respectful, love and light. <sighs> well anyway. Enough about me. I love you. I want you to be happy. Wherever you are, whoever you are, regardless of what you think or might assume. So have a wonderful day. I love you. Love and light.